Hey Adventurers, this is Bruno Reblin and we are back with another adventure for you guys. Today we're going to show you guys a little bit of our trip to San Diego, Santa Monica Pier and the Route 66. We did go to Vegas but I'm going to leave that for another video otherwise this one will be too long. So Santa Monica Pier is quite an amazing place to visit. They have a lot of amusement rides, beautiful views, a lot of people from all cultures and countries all over the world. A lot of places to eat like restaurants and food stands. They also have a lot of entertainers like magicians, people playing instruments and dancing around. Well, I'm gonna leave you guys with some footages now. I hope you enjoy it. I'll be back shortly. Well, we didn't get the chance to ride any of the rides because our time was quite limited there. But we took a lot of amazing pictures that you guys can find on our Instagram. I'll leave a link to our social media on the description so you all can check it out. Anyways, after Santa Monica, we went to Beverly Hills, which you guys are going to be seeing in a bit. It was also a gorgeous place, amazing, they had a lot of expensive stores. Um, we also did go to the Walk of Fame in Hollywood, that famous street. You guys are going to see in a little bit. So here we are, Beverly Hills. I'm sure you guys are familiar with this name, especially because of many Hollywood movies that mention this place or even take place here. Well, as I told you guys, many expensive stores around because of course this is Rodeo Drive, one of the most pricey retail streets in the United States. From Chanel to Gucci, it is home to the most luxurious designer stores. Well, I sure enjoyed watching and taking a look at all of the stores. Of course, we didn't buy anything because we we're not millionaires, not yet. Anyways, I'll leave you guys with some footage. So I could not let this slide, uh, I'm gonna make a reference to GTA 5. This is one of the streets that as soon as I went in, a lot of flashbacks started going through my mind because I played the game and this street is the same street that is in GTA 5. It's the street that there is a money heist. Uh, I think it's between the beginning or the middle of the game, I'm not, I don't really remember. But if you go there and you've played the game, it feels like you're inside the game, it's amazing. So this is the 1920s party that we went to the Horton Grand Hotel in San Diego. It was a very nice party. We went to a friend of my father's birthday party that the main theme was set in the 20s. It was amazing. We're probably going to be making a video only on that little party. It's going to be a short video, a quick video. And yes, take a look, check it out. By the way, the inside and the outside of the hotel already look like you're on the 20s. It has a very unique look, feels like you've traveled in time and you are in another era, in another century. It's amazing. Okay. 
Okay, guys, like you guys see, we are in the trainings. This place, guys, the Horton, Horton Hotel. Sorry for my English, but this place you guys need to come over. You feel like you were in the 20s or 30s or 50s, whatever, in the old times. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit more inside, all right? I'm going inside, so check this out. Two days later after we arrived in California, we started heading towards Route 66 to go to Las Vegas, which will be our next video on the channel. And Route 66, for those of you who don't know, it's a historic route that ran east-west across central part of the state of New Mexico along the path now taken by Interstate 40. However, until 1937, it took a longer route via Los Lunas, Albuquerque, and Santa Fe. And now roughly New Mexico State Road 6, I-25, and US 84. It is 2,448 miles long. So it's a pretty long highway, it goes on forever. And the father of Route 66 was an Oklahoma businessman, Cyrus Avery. I believe that's how you say his name. He was a Tesla businessman. He championed the establishment of the highway and helped promote it. Additionally, Avery pushed to get the entire highway paved a task that was completed by the late 1930s. Okay, adventures today guys we are on route 66 we are crossing from San Diego going a little back to hit Las Vegas so we are here in the middle of the desert and the mountains or whatever you guys say look how this beautiful Eventually, we made our way to Mr. D's, which is a Route 66 diner. It is a very, very famous place for people that already know and have already been to Route 66. I believe there are some movies that were shot in Mr. D's, and they have these amazing cars, these police cars and some other cars, very antique, and you can take a look at them. It's very interesting. Anyways, after Mr. D's, we made our way to Vegas, and I'm gonna leave you guys with some awesome drone footage. It looks amazing, guys. When I looked at the footages, I was like, oh my god, this is cinematic. This looks like a movie. Take a look at the footages, and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit, all right? So, check it out. I want to thank everyone that has been so far into this video. 
thank you so much for watching i really love that you guys are helping us grow our channel and always commenting and liking and sharing with your friends thank you so much guys i'll see you on the vegas video don't forget to subscribe hit the like button and stay tuned for new content anyways i hope you guys have a wonderful day a wonderful night a wonderful week whenever you are watching this video thank you so much i'll see you on the next adventure